Oh, boy, good. Brother Steve. All right. Bless, you, brother. Bless him be the name of the Lord. Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, for a thousand loves to sing. Bless him be the name of the Lord. Maybe want to, uh, maybe God's done something special for you. I'll bring you the mic out, Brother Larry. Hey, can I get the red mic turned on, please? <coughs> red mic. There we go. All right, Brother Larry. You can't give God enough praise for the preacher said while we go that God still answers prayers. Uh, Earlier, I mentioned thank God for answering prayer. Amen. I never, when he answers one, I'm scared not to give him praise yes, for sir, it. Boy. I'd be scared not to mention it to somebody, but uh, I prayed for my son. He had a, a vertebrae in his neck, took out, and it was a pretty serious operation. But he's out moving. We listen, we're looking right now for a speedy recovery. Amen. And today, Amen. about the doctors, we, we appreciate them, we thank them. But the doctor Jesus is the Lord. Amen. 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 All right. Somebody else maybe. I right. got one over here. Hey, I didn't plan it like this. This was not even what we thought we were going to do, but we'll just give it a few moments. Go ahead there, sis. I want to tell about about the same thing that brother had. Because Mama and me were coming to church Sunday evening. And I didn't see that car nowhere. And I'm looking up, didn't see the car, but when, we, when I got middle ways the road, it was a coach car coming right there. Mama said, ooh, 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 ooh. She was like, ooh, 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 ooh. And I know that 
wasn't nothing but the Lord that saved us. Yes, Amen. Amen. That's right. Yeah. All of over here, anybody else in this area got a word you want to share tonight? Hey, all right. Yeah, I'm the <clears throat> miracle man walking around here. Right. Yes, sir. God has been good to me. Amen. And there's nothing I can Thank God. say that would be enough to be thankful for what he's done for me. Right. Um, I'm just an old sinner saved by grace. Yeah, yeah man. And uh, <clears throat> I know you, you all can see I got scars on me and markings and everything else, you know, but uh, I went through surgery on last Tuesday and I gave everything to the Lord before I went in. <coughs> And um, within three hours, I was out of surgery, and the next day I came home. Amen. But, Carotid artery surgery. Right. And it was it was it was a rough uh, surgery, but I went to the doctors today, and he told me that you know he showed me on on the sc uh, computer screen that it showed that um, where it was clogged. And then he showed me after the surgery where he had opened it up and it's just flowing good. So I praise God. We want to hear she too. Anybody else in this stuff? Well, I got I got two ladies. I mean, uh, y'all remember Phil Donahue? Yeah. <laughs> one with that microphone and people out on it. I, I just want to praise the Lord for all he's done for me and Tommy. One of the first things is bringing us here, but he's with us every step of the way That's to it. fight this cancer. Right. It's trying to take him down. Uh, he got blood Monday. His color's a little bit better, and I'm hoping he's feeling better and better. I'm taking him out of town tomorrow. So if he doesn't come back, it's because he's in the ocean. <laughs> yeah. We're going down with a ship. Hey, man, Lord, praise the Lord. And Miss Burris back here. Let me. Hey, like I said, I didn't start this, so I'm not going to be guilty of stopping it. All right, Miss Madison. Right. Well, I know God's been so good to me all my life, but I have a nephew right now who's in ICU, has COVID in Kershaw County Hospital, and they put him on the vent yesterday, but he made a video, and he said, either way, I'm going to win, and was I, he told all this stuff one day, loved him, but we're just praying and that God will, you know, heal him, but I know the blood of Jesus is just as powerful today as it was. Yeah, man. Yes, man. So, yes. We're just thankful and we'll praise God. Whatever come, whatever this outcome is, we're going to praise, praise God. God we yes. just thankful and hopeful that God will heal his body. That's a praise report in yes. advance. Yes. All right. I'm moving over this way. Anybody in this center section? God. I like to say it. Anybody up toward the front up there? All right. Well, come on around. Mr. Kelly over here on this side. <laughs> Brother Sam, I'd like to say one thing. God takes care of me because I was operated on and they put a new defibrillator and pacemaker in me. And three days later, I come from the hospital. I was laid back on the couch, went to sleep. And I woke up and I felt awful. I thought I was going to pass out. Well, I laid back down and went back to sleep. And guess what? My wife was sitting on the other end of the couch and we had a petition that comes down between and it's about eight inches high. And uh, I was bleeding and didn't know it. And God sent a man to my door and knocked on my door. And uh, I woke me up and I said, come in. He come in and stood in front of me and he said, where are you bleeding at? I said, I ain't bleeding. He said, you better look down. Well, I had blood all over my shirt, all over my pants, all over. I was covered up with a sheet. And uh, it was pumping out of my left arm where they run a straw up my arm. And uh, God, I believe God sent that man to save my life because God has really took care of me over the years. Yeah, Every time I turn around, He's healing me. Yeah. And uh, I believe He's got something else for me to do. 
And I just love to do the Lord's work. Here, I'm going to get back to Sam. Amen, brother. All right, my brother Richard. My brother Tyler. <laughs> yes, I, I just want to thank the good Lord for saving my soul and giving me life. Let me have his life. I have uh, a few months ago, you know, I went down and anointed me with oil and uh, prayed over me. And it was a... Uh, at the time, I was in extremely bad shape. Uh, any of y'all don't know, a blood count was uh, up to 149. It's not supposed to be over three. And uh, I started treatment. I had to, I'm on treatments every day right now. Uh, injections and chemo and uh, seven days a week. So... But God take care of it, and uh, my blood has went from 149 down to 80, and then it's the last time I went out there, it was down to 24.6. Right. And uh, we're going to give the Lord take care of it. He, he, he healed me. Yeah. I mean, I'm praying that healing, and uh, he's going to take care of me. He's got something for me to do that hasn't been done yet. And, uh, right. Uh, if it means people seeing what he can do, uh, standing me back up and, and giving me life like he's done, I can never thank him enough. I, and I thank the church, everybody here for prayer and for uh, just keep on praying for me and, and know that God is working. When, when you don't think he's doing anything, he's doing it in his time. Yeah. So I just want to thank everyone here for the prayers yes, yes, yes. and thank the good Lord again for letting me have some life and I'm going to keep on keeping on. There you go. Thank you. Bless you, brother. Up through here, Miss Kathy. I'm just very thankful that the, the Lord's been blessing me and he continues to bless me. Yes, yes. I'm doing very good. Amen. Amen. All right. Anybody along through here, I'm coming your way in a minute, brother Buford. I don't know why I do this. I can't help it. But, uh, Brother Rick, I got saved May the 6th, 1997. I worked at Michelin on T-Doc. Rick and I worked together, and we were looking for places to come to church. And that brother said, if you ought to come down and get Sammy, we got a kind of church I think you'd like. Because he knew I was raised in a, in a good Christian family. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've had many, many prayers answered in my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, but I think every day of Madison and what he did for her when she was five months old. And I can't thank him enough. I promise him we get a healer. I thank him every day. And preachers, I like to be honest. These days I go by, I don't think. I was out cutting shrubbery last Saturday morning. And uh, yeah, I do work hard too. He, he keeps me out working hard. He gets a free plug. But I was just sitting there thinking, you know, we talk about praying for people. My mother and father prayed for me for 42 yes, years. Praise God. What a blessing. And I can't say God enough. Yep, man. Saving this whole Saturday. Hey. Amen. Bro. And I thank that God right back there for inviting me to this church because I'm telling you, it's the best church I've ever been in. I thank you and I just thank the church for prayers. And I got a special unspoken. I just wish people would pray that uh, my family would get, uh, my son would get his life turned around and live a, a Christian life. Amen. And the devil tells me there's no hope, but I pray. There he is. Yes, there's hope. Bless you, brother. Brother Rick, if you're listening in on the internet, that brother so faithful to church and he's here because of Rick's testimony yeah, to him. Coming on up through here. Real quick. Yeah, I thank the Lord for saving me. And uh, I want to say uh, uh, thank the Lord for being in the track ministry. And uh, it's a good thing to, to do. I thought. We've been getting all the kind of tracks out, and I want to say, uh, 
Right, they, they had passed their appreciation. I was say, uh, say, uh, thank for, thankful for you uh, and all you do and all you, what you do uh, uh, and all your preaching and all, your, all you do uh, all these what you've been through. And Lord, uh, I thank the Lord for him every day. Uh, yeah. And I was saying to that brother, what Sam, Sam was talking about, that Rick, and uh, uh, say our thoughts and our prayers are with you, brother. We uh, will be praying for you, and I know you're listening in. And God is in control. He's in, yeah. he, he, he be with you. Uh, yes. Anything you need, we hear for you. We praying for you. Uh, hope you get more good reports, brother. Anybody right through here? All right, I'm coming your way, brother. I'm just trying to do it as a as a come to it. I just want to thank God for all that He does for me. Yes, yes. You know, people don't realize how hard it is day by day. You get out of bed, and you're going, Lord, please let this be a good day. And then he wakes up and. It's not. He don't want to get up. He don't want to help me get him up. He don't want to eat. And I'm going, Lord, I can't do this without you. You've got to take control. Bless and then you, here comes the devil. And he says right here, he's going, I told you you couldn't do this. You're not big enough. <laughs> and then on the, on the other side, he's going, and your heart's just not in it. And I'm going, you better get away from me. I said, Lord, you better you better send him packing. But I'll go, Lord, just help this to turn into a better Amen. day. Amen. Bless you, Lord. And then five you'll get better. Yeah. And he'll he'll say, I wanna eat. I wanna be good. I wanna eat. And I'm going, okay. And he might be good for three or four days. Then it starts all over again. I'm fighting the devil. I'm trying to get Bobby in control. And I'm going, Lord, you got to step in. And, you know, in my heart, I know God is there all the time. Amen. He's there all the time. That's right. And then I'm going, I just need somebody to say something to help me. Then his Arian comes and she says, I don't know how you do it, but his vitals are perfect. His mind's not perfect, but his vitals are perfect. He's always clean. He's always faith. He says, she said, you take him to church, you keep him in there with God. She says, you just do perfect. I wish everybody was like you. And I'm going, God, you just don't know how I need to hear that. But you know something? I want to thank everybody that calls and checks on him and checks on me. And Saturday, blessed, blessed uh, Johnny and Dolores' heart. They came over there and they said, okay, so I could go get my hair cut. And he says, no, I know you got errands to run. So you just run them errands and you don't worry about nothing. Amen. And that was the best time I've had in a year and a half. And I thank God for this church and for the people that see me. Amen. As long as I'm leaving, he will never go in the nursing home. Amen. I want him treated better than they can do. That's right. But I thank God for all that he does for us. She blessed my heart a few weeks ago. Bobby may not know a whole lot, might not say things. Said he passed by the church, he looked this way, and he said, Brother Sam, <laughs> that blessed my heart. Greg. I just want to thank the Lord uh, healed our brother Wayne from COVID. Uh, we're going to thank him in advance for the healing of our sister Charlene. Amen. Um, he's been good to our family. We've been through a lot, but he's been good to us. Amen. We just want to thank him. Yes, yes, yes. Amen.